Hello everybody, this is John with Alarm Lock and Napco Technical Support. In this uh, brief video tech tip, I'm just going to be discussing how to transfer and migrate your DL Windows data from any version of DL Windows 5 uh, to say another computer that you're now loading the latest software on, the DL Windows 553. Um, you know, or if you're planning to, you know, also migrate, you know, from one version to the other, uh, you can do the uh, SQL Server backup. Uh, but I just want to show you this other way of backing up your data and moving it over, uh, which can make things a little bit simpler if you're, you know, updating your SQL Server database and you just need to, um, you know, you have a blank database on a new computer or you're uh, installing a later version and you want to get all your data in from your old system. Uh, so basically here I have uh, two accounts set up here. Uh, if you click on tools and we go to export account, uh, instead of doing, you know, these are the regular SQL Server backup. So you can obviously do that. We have another video on that. Uh, you could restore and backup the databases here, but the SQL Server databases have to match the exact version. Uh, so sometimes you might get an error stating that the version is mismatched or, you know, again, if you went from 2008 to 2012 or uh, a later version, you may get that error as well. So so in here, in this uh, video, we're going to go over this alternative way. So we'll click on tools and we're going to click on export account. So this is what you would do on the existing computer that has the data on it. Hopefully that you have this information and that would pertain to this. Um, so we're going to go on a desktop. I'm just going to create a new folder here. We'll call this. Backups. Okay, so I'm going to have this one saved here. And that one successfully exported. And now I'm going to highlight the second account here. So if you have just one account, obviously with all your lock profiles, that's fine. In this case, I have multiple or you might have, you know, 10 different accounts. So if that's the case, you would back up each individual account. So now I'm going to select the uh, next account. I'm going to export this here into the same folder and then press A. So now this folder that was uh, created here on the desktop with your backups. Uh, so these two files is what you would actually put onto a USB flash drive and then you could transport this data onto the new computer. So it's simple enough again if you have one account it's fine if you have multiple accounts you would have a list here uh, of all accounts. So this actually retains all of your global users, your networking info, um, any information on features, schedules, you know that's all included in this ACC file, so it actually backs up the whole entire file. Uh, so all your data should be secured there. And, you know, so again, like I said, you would put this onto a flash drive and transfer it to the new computer. And on the new computer, most likely you're going to have a blank database here. You know, there'll be nothing here on the new uh, computer, as you could just create a new database and, you know, or if it was a new installation, and like I said, you're migrating or transferring. So then, simply enough, um, if I delete these accounts, I'll show you here so you'll have a idea. So on the, on the new computer, you would just hit tools and you would go here to import account. And I would select that file, these ACC files from your USB drive. And you'll have to rename it. And dependent upon the file that you have as well, like you see on the on my one uh, lock here, I had a, you know, about 20 locks on one account, you know, so they could take a little bit of time depending upon how big the file is. I've seen these, you know, sometimes if you have, you know, 50 plus locks with a, a lot of global users uh, that can take, you know, sometimes, you know, 15 minutes at, at some cases, 15, 20 minutes at the maximum. For it to go load so when you see this loading here um just be patient with it it's it's just importing you know all of the data okay so as you see that 
couple uh, sent in 22 locks. So you see, it took about a minute or so for that one account. And then I'm going to go into tools and import my second account. And you can actually see the, you know, the kilobytes here. So as you see, the first one was a little bit larger. This one is smaller. So if you have a big file here, just expect it to not happen right away to import. You know, might, like I said, it could take sometimes 15, 20 minutes for a large account being imported. So I click on this one here. I'm going to hit load. Okay, now it's fairly quick with 15 lock profiles. As you see here, we have data here. As you see, we have all of our users still in the system. If you had any schedules as well, they would all be retained here in this ACC file. And the same for this account. And that should be it. And then this will import it into your current SQL Server uh, version that you have. Uh, so you can, you know, also, you know, perform a backup of your whole new database now uh, on your new system. And you could, you know, label it as so. Server database, but like I said, this one was a, a, a an alternative way to import and export your data. Uh, simply enough, if you're going from again uh, transfers or any type of migrations of the DL Windows software. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. You find it useful. Again, my name is John with uh, Alarm Lock and Napco Technical Support. Have a great day.